वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू मेक अ वीडियो हाउ टू सेट स्केल इन ऑटो कैट इन दिस वीडियो आई विल मेक यू एबल टू सेट अ स्केल इन ऑटो कैट सो फॉर सेटिंग अ स्केल इन इन ऑटो कैट फर्स्ट फिक्स अ स्केल इन व्हिच यू वांट टू प्रिंट द ड्राइंग फॉर एग्जांपल यू वांट टू प्रिंट द ड्राइंग इन 1:500 देन यू हैव टू कन्वर्ट दिस स्केल इन फॉर in flowing format to enter in autocad the formula is simple the formula is uh, 1000 by uh, scale for example in this case i have taken 1 to 500 then uh, uh, in conversion uh, we have to take the 500 in the denominator place so 1000 by 500 is equal to 2 is to 1 uh, likewise uh, other example you can uh, see it uh, see here for 1 to 600 we have just Uh, uh divide 1000 divided uh 1000 by 600 then we have we have obtained 1.66 is to 1 likewise in the last case for 1 is to 2000 we have just divided 1000 by 2000 then 1 is to 2 so in autocad you have to enter uh 2 is to 1 for the 1 is to 500 not 1 is to 500 for 1 is to 500 in autocad In AutoCAD, you have to just convert 1 is to 500 scale in the AutoCAD scale. For example, in this uh, case, you have already seen for 1 is to 500, the scale is 2 is to 1 in AutoCAD. So let's see uh, in AutoCAD uh, how this work. So first, open the AutoCAD. After opening the AutoCAD, you will see this screen. Then click on Start Drawing. After clicking on the start drawing, I mainly uh, print the output in the layout. Uh, this is a uh, this is the first place uh, which is displayed uh, after opening the AutoCAD is uh, model space. This black space is called the model space, and you can see uh, below this uh, below this uh, beside model there is a layout one, layout two, and there is a plus sign. Plus sign is for For multiple layout, for more than one, you have to just add. You can add uh, uh, as many you desire. Uh, so for setting a scale, you have to click on the layout button. After clicking on the layout button, in this layout, uh, the drawing uh, which you have drawn in this model space will be displayed in lo uh, layout. So all the drawing we have to print in the layout format. it will be easy for us to converting in in a, a pdf format and to print it in a, in a easy way so uh, after clicking on this layout button just right click on this uh, layout after the right click on in this click on paste setup manager then this new dialog box will appear then after click on new new we have to just create a, a new profile because uh, Suppose we want to print a drawing in a four size, then we have to we have to set the page size of this layout for printing. So we have to create a new profile. So so click on new. And then after clicking on new, you can type any desired name. For example, I have just kept new new. Then uh, after writing a new page name, new profile name, I uh, click on OK. After clicking in uh, on OK, this dialog box will appear. In this dialog box, you have to uh, first click on this name. Uh, beside this, you can see this drop down button. Then click on drop down button. Then you have to uh, choose DWG to PDF because we have to convert our drawing first into the PDF format before printing. Because many shopkeeper don't have AutoCAD installed in their computer, it will be easy for them. If you provide them a PDF file, so click on PDF file. After clicking on the PDF file, you have to uh, click on this paper size. In this paper size, you have to select a paper size in which you want to print your final drawing. For example, you want to print the drawing in a four size. Then uh, you can see here uh, ISO A4 is written uh, above that ISO A3, above that ISO A2, and likewise other. So Suppose you want to print the drawing in A4 size, then click on A4 size. After clicking on A4 size, 
make sure in SQL there is written one one in uh, both box. Then after checking uh, uh, after writing one one in both box, you have to uh, click on OK. Uh, before clicking on OK, suppose you want to print the drawing in portrait format, then click on portrait. Otherwise, you have to otherwise you want to print the drawing in landscape, then you have to click on landscape. In this drawing, uh, I will uh, make a, a landscape. So click on OK. After clicking on uh, clicking on OK, uh, click on this uh, new. Just you have created a, a new profile. Then set this profile uh, into set current. After clicking on the set current, click on uh, click on close. Then you can see here this page. Uh, this page has been set to the A4 size. So before drawing anything in this page, uh, first of all you have to delete all the item uh, which has uh, here before creating it. So uh, at first you have to press CTRL plus A. Then after pre uh, pressing CTRL plus A, click uh, on delete button or press del button uh, from the keyboard. Then after pressing the del button from the keyboard, you have to insert a viewport to bring a drawing from the model space to the layout. So click on this uh, layout. After clicking on this layout, click on rectangular. rectangular. After clicking on this rectangular, you have to uh, just uh, zoom this on this corner by scroll down the bottom from your mouse and make sure this uh, intersection point of this cursor lies uh, within this dotted line because out uh, outside this dotted line will not be printed in the paper so your, your viewport must lie uh, within this dotted line then uh, you click uh, within this after clicking on this your viewport is uh, inserted then double click on this after double clicking your viewport will be activated after uh, double clicking on this after uh, double clicking then you can see uh, below here a uh, scale is written scale is uh, written uh, beside that there is a drop down button then click on drop down button after clicking on this drop down button click on custom after clicking on custom it will display this type of dialog box then click on add suppose we have to we have to set uh, a scale for 1 is to 500 then uh, then autocad it will be 2 is to 1 so we have to write 2 is to 1 mainly uh, below here uh, here you have to here you can write 2 is to 1 so that you can easily understand uh, this is a scale which consists of 1 is to 500 scale above here above also you can add twist to also that it will be easy for you to identify the scale but at below you have to write two is to one only uh, in first box two and the uh, and the second box you have to write one because we have already convert one is to 500 like it uh, uh, 1500 then two is to one so right here two and in second box there is already one so you so you don't need to write then click on ok after clicking on, on ok click on yes then ok in this way you have just created a 1 to 500 scale then after uh, this uh, again click on this drop down button then you have to select 2 is to 1 uh, which you have created, uh, created earlier then 2 is to 1 here then uh, click on this after clicking on this your, your scale has been set up so double click on outside uh, uh, this viewport like here then you can zoom it and zoom out but but uh, if your uh, viewport is active suppose you have double click on this viewport then your viewport is active if you zoom in or zoom out your scale will change you can see here uh, below this box like uh, if I uh, zoom out, then the scale is changing. If I zoom in, then also scale is changing. So by fixing the scale, you have to just right click. Uh, you have to double click outside the viewport so that if you zoom in or zoom out, your scale will not change. So again, uh, set this 
scale in 2 is to 1 then double click uh, at here outside then you can zoom in or zoom out your, your scale will not change in this way you can set a scale in AutoCAD and so and for printing you have to press CTR plus P after pressing CTR plus P you don't have to change anything here just click on OK I write your uh, desired file name and click on save it will convert your drawing into the PDF format easily in this way you can share the scale and print the print your uh, output and convert your file in, into the PDF format so if you like the, this video please like share and subscribe my channel thank you so much